Alright, now let's look at this question. A. Show that the photons in a 1240 nanometer infrared uh, light beam has energies of 1 electron volt. Okay, just look at part A first. So, uh, this question, um, he want us to show the photons of this wavelength. Okay, this is actually the wavelength. Okay, in nanometer, you have to change to beta. Infrared light has energies. Uh, so, he want the, to find the energy of the photon. Uh, he want the, to find the energy, sorry. Uh, he want to find the energy for that photon. Uh, one electron volt. Uh, one electron volt. So, we know that the, the energy for one photon is actually HF. Lah. HF. Or if you have lambda, if you have lambda, uh, just use the lambda. HC over lambda. Uh, because, because F is actually C over lambda. Okay? Uh, so, um, okay. But this one in electron volt. Uh, that means, we know that from this formula, E equal to HF, we always uh, will get the unit in Joule first. Uh, we will always get the unit in energy, energy in Joule first. Uh, then from Joule, we convert to electron volt. Huh? Uh, so, let me show you. Okay. Uh, okay. So, lambda convert to SI unit, meter, exponent negative 9. Now, I to find the energy for one photon, energy for one photon is HF or HC over lambda. So, I use the formula HC over lambda. I can substitute. Right? Substitute. Um, okay. So, um, Okay, what is H? Uh, H is a Planck constant. If you forget about the H, uh, the H value is uh, this. This is the H value. Okay, uh, Planck constant. So don't don't uh, don't be afraid. Planck's constant. This value you can find in the list of constant. Uh, it will be provided in the list of constant in your exam. So please check your uh, list of constant value. List of constant value. For this Planck constant H, yeah, which is 6.63 exponent negative 34 joule second. Okay, 6.63 negative 34. Okay, let's write it down. Yeah. Uh, so it is a uh, six, sorry, uh 6.63 exponent negative 34 uh, joule second. Okay. And then uh, speed of light is 3 exponent 8. Very easy to remember. Uh, this speed of light also can find in the list of constant. List of constant. And then uh, wavelength is uh, 1240 exponent negative 9. Remember everything in SI unit. Okay, everything in SI unit. So our energy, the energy unit we get also in SI unit. Uh, we will finally also get joule. Okay, why, why is like that? Because our our H, uh, our Planck constant is in Joule second unit. Uh, in Joule, in Joule second unit. That's why our energy also in Joule. Yeah? From this formula, we will get the energy in Joule. So, uh, after divide, what do we get? After we divide, uh, we will get uh, 1.6. We will get the answer in uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19. Uh, okay? Joule. Uh, we got we got this uh, this answer now uh, but the question he want us to find the energy in what energy in electron volt he want us to show the energy in electron volt unit uh, so you must show your answer in electron volt unit so how to convert to electron volt uh, how to convert from uh, from joule how to convert from uh, joule to electron volt how uh, we divide to convert from joule joule to electron volt we divide electron understand not? from joule to electron volt we divide electron uh, remember this one remember this uh, this thing I, I give you convert from joule joule to electron volt we divide electron convert from electron volt to joule we multiply uh, so it's the other way around lah. Uh, yeah is the, the other way around. From electron volt to joule, we multi multiply electron. But the other way around is divide. Lah. Uh, okay? So, divide. Okay, divide by electron charge. So, now we divide. Okay? We divide uh, divide by 
electron charge is what is uh, the the electron charge uh, electron charge is also 1.6 exponent negative 19 uh, electron charge is also exponent negative x uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 so uh, when we uh, divide like that we will get okay joule divided by electron charge we will get back electron volt unit so this one cancel we got one uh, so the answer is one uh, after divide, we got the unit in electron volt already. Okay, so it's proven. Huh? So it's uh, proven, pro uh, proven that uh, I I have shown that uh, it is uh, I have proven. Uh, must write the proven there. Huh? Proven that the energy of that photon, energy of that photon is uh, one electron volt. Okay. Now let, let's look at uh, question B. Let's look at question B. A photons of energy 3.5 electron volt is required to break a chemical bond in the molecules of human skin and thus causes sunburn. Okay, determine the wavelength of this photon. Okay, so this photon with this energy want to break a human skin, cause sunburn. What's the wavelength of this photon? So this again is the energy of that photon. Uh, this is the energy of that photon equal to HF. Uh, but remember this unit in electron volt you must first convert you must first convert to uh, joule first uh, before you can substitute into this formula okay uh, because this formula only allow joule SI unit now uh, break a chemical bond uh, so one, what's the wavelength uh, we want to find the wavelength uh, of this photon of this photon so instead of using HF we use hc over lambda to find the wavelength okay to find the wavelength so we use a formula uh, here here is the formula we use the formula uh, hc over lambda okay uh, this is also actually equal to hf okay but we uh, since we want to find wavelength instead of frequency we use uh, hc over lambda okay now uh, so we already got the energy energy of the photon but the the problem is the unit is in electron volt ah so you cannot you cannot uh straight away substitute into here uh you uh 3.5 electron volt you substitute into here okay so then you write 3.5 electron volt equal to hc over lambda wrong cannot wrong ah huh? uh, this is wrong you cannot substitute electron volt into this formula because this formula, uh, this formula is joule, is joule. Even the unit for Planck constant is also joule second. You see that? It's joule second. Uh, so, the energy here must be in joule, cannot be electron volt. Cannot be electron volt, uh, must be in joule. So, uh, you cannot straight away substitute the 3.5 electron volt into this formula. Uh, you surely get the wrong answer. You surely get the wrong answer, yeah? This is wrong. Uh, please write it down please wrong so what should you do what should you do uh, you should first uh, don't try this at home uh? don't try this at home don't try this at the school uh, so don't straight away don't straight away uh, go to uh, substitute inside you must first convert to joule uh, first convert to joule uh, convert to joule uh, then only after you convert to joule then only you substitute into the formula then that is correct understand or not ah, that is correct so uh, how to convert to it to joule uh, remember electron electron volt convert to joule is uh, electron volt convert to joule is multiply electron multiply electron huh? uh, so this is um, uh, this is a uh, multiply you need to multiply electron first uh, multiply electron charge so how uh, so let's do it yeah let's do it now so e equal to uh, three point five zero electron volt. So I multiply uh, electron charge three point five. I multiply electron charge is uh, one point uh, six exponent negative nineteen. Okay, uh, then the unit become joule already because you already multiply by electron charge. So what is the energy you get? Yeah, uh, what is the energy you get? The energy you get is um uh 5.6 exponent negative 19 joule ah 
uh, get the uh, energy in joule already. Is it correct? Huh? Yeah, it's correct. So you get the energy in joule already. Uh, now in joule, you can you can substitute into the formula E equal to HC over lambda. All right. So let's do it. So uh, uh, let's do the E equal to HC over lambda to find. Uh, finally, we want to find the wavelength because the question asks for uh, wavelength. Okay. We want to find the wavelength. Eh? We want to find this wavelength. Okay. So uh, remember, the energy must be in joule. Cannot be electron volt. Okay. Must be joule. So let's substitute inside. Uh, this is a 5.6 exponent uh, negative 19 joule. Okay. This one in joule. Equal to uh, H is a 6.63 exponent negative 34. You can find this value in the list of constant. And then uh, speed of light is 3 exponent 8. 3 exponent 8. And then uh, divide by the wavelength. Ah, we want to find the wavelength, isn't it? Uh, wavelength, wavelength. So wavelength will be equal to, uh, after we cross multiply everything, we cross multiply everything, our wavelength final answer will be our answer will be um, uh, 3, sorry, 3.55 exponent negative 7 meter. Uh, if you want to change to nanometer, uh, change to nanometer become 355 uh, exponent negative 9 meter. Uh, this ne exponent negative 9 is nano. Okay, is, uh, sorry, no need to write. It's nanometer. Uh, so, uh, you want to write uh, in meter or in nanometer, both correct lah. Okay? Uh, so, uh, is the, the question, uh, did, did, uh, did he mention, uh, say that must be in, must be in um, uh, nanometer? Uh, didn't say. So, this wavelength, you want to put in SI unit or you want to put in uh, nanometer, also can lah. Okay? Provided they must be correct value. Okay? Uh, so that's all for uh, this video. Uh, I hope you understand. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. See you.